Uh, my apologies, everyone. I should have been more organised there. Um, welcome, especially if you're visiting with us this morning. A uh, special welcome to you. It's great to have you with us. Today's a really, really special day in the life of Cornerstone because we get to ordain and induct Yako. Although I just found out this week that that's actually not your, your real name on your birth certificate because he actually has to sign this formula uh, when we ordain and induct. Now, what is your, actually your, your... How do you pronounce it? Because I'm going to get it wrong. Yeah, it's a uh, Vayna... Sorry, is this one? Yeah. Yeah. Vayna uh, Bikolbus Vonk. Um, yeah. It's a very popular name in South Africa. Sorry, you might just want to say that again because... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, it's Vayna Bikolbus Vonk. Uh, Dutch name. So, um, South Africans tell me it's very popular in South Africa. So, there you go. <laughs> That's great, but we're in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's a fantastic name, and um, one we'll never forget. Uh, now, it's great. In all seriousness, though, brother, you've been a part of this congregation. Come over here. I feel like you're miles away. Uh, in all seriousness, um, you've been a part of this congregation from almost, I think, the very beginning, when the Reformed Church and the Presbyterian Church joined together yeah. to plant this church. What's taken you so long? <laughs> Why? No, in all seriousness. I was waiting for you to have a Tony Mark. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, um, why do you think the Lord has called you to this position um, at this time? Um, yeah, I mean, elders are, elder means older, uh, so I feel that I'm kind of, you know, old enough, uh, perhaps. Um, I mean, obviously, there are young elders, like Nathaniel, um, but I feel, yeah, it's. Um, as you grow in the faith and you, you know, gain a bit of wisdom, I think, uh, yeah, it's time to step up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to ask you a number of questions, um, which I'm required to ask. But first of all, the first question is, thanks Ezekiel, to us as actually a congregation. Uh, and this is, I think, in some ways, the very first step. Um, because, well, I think the very first step is that it's actually God that raises up elders. Uh, and we as a congregation recognise what God is doing. Uh, now, you've had the chance over the last couple of weeks, uh, if anybody had any objections, uh, to write into the session. No one has. Um, but it's a really great way of us positively affirming what God is doing in our midst. And he's raising up leaders. In, in the book of Acts, uh, the Apostle Paul says to the, the elders at Ephesus, and we're looking at the book of Ephesians at the moment, to be shepherds of the flock of God of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Isn't that interesting? It's an interesting expression. It's the Holy Spirit that makes or raises up leaders in the church and the church recognises them. So my brothers and sisters, um, the congregation are requested to stand up and the following questions are going to be put to you first. So if you're a congregation member, please stand. Do you, the members and adherents of this congregation now confirm the election of this brother to the office of ruling elder in this congregation. Please signify your assent by raising your right hand. Thank you. Thanks, brother. And do you promise to render him all due respect and encouragement in the discharge of his office? Please signify your assent by raising your right hand. Thank you. Please be seated. The congregation is sending the following questions are now put to Yako. Yako, do you believe the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the word of God and the only rule of faith and practice? I do. Do you own and accept the Westminster Confession of Faith as amended by the General Assembly and read in the light of the declaratory statement contained in the basis of union and adopted by this church on the 24th day of July, 1901, and as an, as, an as an exhibition of the sense in which you understand the Holy Scriptures and as a confession of your faith, and do you engage firmly and constantly to adhere thereto and to the utmost of your power to assert, maintain, and defend the same? I do. Do you own and accept the purity of worship as practised in this church? Yes. Do you own the Presbyterian form of government to be founded on the word of God and agreeable thereto? And do you promise that through the grace of God you will firmly and constantly adhere to and to the utmost of your power in your station assert, maintain and defend the same? 
I do. Do you adhere to your acceptance of the call of, the, of this congregation to exercise among them the office of a ruling elder? I do. Do you engage through divine grace to discharge with diligence and faithfulness the various duties of your office, watching over the flock, showing yourself a pattern of good works, and giving a conscientious attendance on the meetings of the session, the presbytery, and the assembly when duly called to do, to do so? I do. And then finally, all these things you profess and promise through grace, as you shall be answerable at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I do. Okay, we now have two things that we're going to do. Uh, because this is a very significant um, moment in the life of our congregation, but also before God, we're going to actually ask Yako to sign the formula. So, Nathaniel, where is Nathaniel? Uh, who's our clerk, is going to sign, and also Yako. Yep. And then I'll ask, I'll ask the elders to come down the front, and we're going to lay hands on Yako and pray for him. Uh, if I could have the elders come down the front, we're going to lay hands and pray. I know sometimes these things seem formula formulaic, uh, but they are really significant in the life of the church. And indeed, in Yako's own walk with God, as he will be answerable to the Lord um, at his coming. So would you please join with us in prayer as we commit Yako to the Lord and to, the ser and to his service in his congregation. Let's pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have raised up workers to go into your harvest and indeed you've called Yako to the office of ruling elder in this congregation. We thank you so much for him, Lord. We praise you for his faith and for his faithfulness to you in this church in particular over many years. We pray that you would pour out your grace upon him, that you'll continue to give him wisdom and grace to be a godly example that he would love the flock, care for the flock, and protect the flock. Father, as he exhorted us himself, as he led the service this morning, may you give him great grace to work in unity with brother elders, but also to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace for the whole congregation. Lord, bless his marriage to Miranda. Continue to bless him as a father. And Lord, may at the end of his life long hear those great words of commendation from you. Well done, good and faithful servant. Father, we thank you for him. We commit him into your hands. And we pray that you give him every grace and encouragement. And we ask this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, brother. <laughs>